uh, very much, uh, Scott, and thank you and Carol and your entire team for really uh, organizing this gathering. Uh, this is the 19th Expo. I haven't was not here at the beginning of the Expos, uh, but what I do know uh, is even since uh, I started as the uh, co-chair of the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Caucus, uh, we've seen tremendous growth uh, in this Expo. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Scott and Carol, uh, and as Scott said, most of all, all of you, uh, because you are the folks who are driving the innovation. Um, when I look around this room, uh, I see the proof of American ingenuity at work, scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs coming together to tackle these really important challenges um, and make sure that we can address some of the big challenges we got with respect to climate change in terms of the, the private sector involvement. It's really important that we have a public policy uh, that supports those efforts uh, going forward. I want to thank all my colleagues uh, on the caucus. Um, we have about 100 members. Uh, it's a bipartisan caucus. For those of you who are here with exhibits, uh, please check. If your member of Congress is not a member of the caucus, uh, please get them to sign up, uh, because this is a coming together on a bipartisan basis of trying to encourage what we should all uh, support, uh, which is encouraging innovation in clean uh, energy. Uh, I want to thank my uh, co-chair, uh, Dave Reichert, Congressman Reichert, and his staff, uh, as well as Sarah Shetty on my uh, staff. And you'll hear a little bit, I think, from the Senate uh, co-chairs, Jack Reed and, and Mike Crapo. Uh, this is a bipartisan, bicameral uh, effort. Uh, let me just uh, close with the point Scott made. He gave you the numbers. We have huge and growing potential in the area of of clean energy. I'm very proud of my state of Maryland. We're working very hard. If you look at solar, for example, the rate of job growth in the solar industry is 13 times the rate, the average rate of job growth in the economy. Uh, and that's true in many of the other sectors that are represented here today. So when people talk about the costs of dealing with climate change, uh, my response is always twofold. Number one, the costs of doing nothing are huge because the costs of having to deal with all the consequences of climate change uh, are going to far outweigh uh, any uh, costs of dealing with the public policy side. And secondly, cost is the wrong way to think about it because there are, as you represent, huge opportunities for our economy uh, and for American workers um, if we move forward and play a leadership role uh, in the United States in dealing with clean energy. Uh, we need to be the leaders. Uh, you are leading in the private sector. Our job in the United States Congress is to make sure that we have public policy in place that makes your work easier, uh, not harder. And uh, it's been a great partnership uh, working with uh, all of you, and we look forward in the years ahead uh, to doing even more great work together. But let me just end where I started, which is looking out across this room. Uh, it really is a celebration of the great work that's being done, the investments that are being made, and uh, at the same time, you're, you're doing good things for your businesses. Uh, you're also doing good things for our broader economy uh, and doing good things to try to address uh, all the risks and negative consequences of climate change. So thank you for being winners across the board, and uh, we look forward to next year. It will make it two decades of this uh, uh, expo. Uh, with many more to come. So thank you all very much uh, for all you